Welcome to part two of the order packing for the March restock. I am Holly with Missouri River Soap and let's get started. So this one, here we go again, Tropical Braces. That was a popular one with this release. Let's see, I kind of did a pre-pack and then unpacked it just to see how this was gonna go. So I should do what my plan was. So we have two strawberry champagne, which Wow, all these together just smell so good. We have two sweet pea. I love that one. Let's see, we have two of the peaches soap. That was the one that was super colorful. And let's see, let's do, we have two citrus buttermilk. So I'm gonna put those down in here on the bottom. And back to the tropical breeze, and we have a wild elderberry. Gosh, both of those smell so good. This is the amazing. Oh my goodness, they just smell so good together. I have my little my little eco craft bakery sheets here, so I'm just going to make sure all those windows are covered up so they don't get a lot of shred down in them. Cause that's not a ton of fun. They're so inexpensive that we're just, that's what we're doing for right now. Okie dokie. So, what do we got going on here? So we have a strawberry milk bath. I also had an oatmeal milk bath and they are both sold out. Well, maybe the was a strawberry? I can't remember. Go back to moriversoap.com. Let's see. Bath and shower treats. Oh, I have oatmeal milk bath, but I don't have the strawberry one. That's the deal. That's what's that's what's happening. Alright, so we need a little bit of shred down here in this corner. Good. Good, good, good. So I saved all of my um, video to the end. I packed, on, I packed on Sunday and Monday and today is Tuesday. We are homebound. The mailman has been picking up our packages. We live in a rural community so we usually just run our packages in because it's usually raining or I've got dogs running around outside or what have you. So we always take the packages to the post office. Well, we have a deal with our man right now. Uh, well, yesterday it was a woman. Today it is our regular driver. And he's like, I'll just show up, I'll take what I can, and I'll be on my way. And we're like, that works for us. We like the way you think. So we are doing pickups currently. This was a grapefruit glow. It is weird not to drop them off at the post office because we just always, we like that. We just, we like to make sure everybody's there and everybody's happy and we're not taking up too much space because we're very rural here. So we can take up a little bit too much space in this delivery vehicle. And we could order a pickup also and we may do that on really large days, but so far, They've been just getting them in smaller amounts and so that's been working really nicely for us with the current situation. Oh, I didn't even show these to you. I just wrapped them up. So we have an almond bath bomb. Now I marked these as gone wonky. Well, let me tell you why. I decided the bath bombs and I don't get along. These both on the first test did not float and then they floated and they were spinning and you know they were having like a party in the tub and I was like whoa and my husband was like whoa and everybody was like happy and then we decided to do a video of them and they were just like thump on the bottom of the tub and we're like dude you have got to get your act together because you were totally partying just a few days ago so this one is the um, coconut mango gone wonky. I do love how they turned out. Hard as it, hard as a rock there. Um, so I don't know. 
I'm feeling kind of eh about bath bombs right now. These are still performing awesome. They're going to make a great bath. All that's awesome. There's The only difference is just my personal... I want it to be a certain way and it didn't live up to my standards. So that's why Markham is gone wonky. Now it's like a million percent humidity every day in Missouri. So bath bombs may be taking a chill pill, which is kind of sad because, and I'll show you one here in just a moment. I just had this thing going and I was going to do, well, current events have kind of put a kibosh on that. Is that a word? I don't even know. I'm hoping it's not a bad word or something to use that. Um, anyway, look at these cuties. I made these cute little egg bath bombs and I was, I got the, um, the mold from bathbombmachine.com and I bought egg cartons. Now let me tell you, these aren't that big, but they did not fit in the egg cartons that I bought. So I repurchased duck egg cartons, but by then I just gave up on the whole thing. So maybe next year, maybe next year. So we're going to stick one of those, one of those, tuck that down in there. So I don't know. I really don't think it's my recipe and I use like a lower pressure. Like I said, everything was fine. It's just so humid here. And I just think it, it just, it gets to them. It just gets to them. For the soap sample, I'm gonna put in a figgy cream. This customer is the first time ordering. Let's see what if we can peek at the note. Said, I'm so excited to get these. It's my first time ordering. I've been binge watching your packing videos with my one year old daughter. You're such a joy to watch. Thank you. <laughs> That's so cute. I love what you're having cuddle time with your girl while watching my videos. Thank you so much. So let's see. Yep, I think because of the egg and that. Yep, we're good. Okay. So we do have children that watch videos, my videos with their moms or dads or what have you. So I have chosen that this would just remain cheerful and fun. Cheerful and fun is the way to go today. So I'm going to put this one in here, put this one in here, put that there. And this one is going all the way to Colorado. Hoping to get back there again someday too. I love Colorado. So I went with the regional Ray A box on this one because it just wasn't going to quite fit in the cube box. But this one actually worked quite perfectly. And in the whole cost range it is going to cost me just a little bit more than say a cubic would have but we're going for space and we needed that space so that's what's happening okay this one is 95 ounces get rates and buy the label oh time for me to buy new postage whoop whoop i like to buy in increments so that I don't have to buy it with every single label. It's just kind of a pain when you're doing your um, record keeping. So it's nice just to be able to buy it in increments. Oh, we're still stuck on Canadian size label. All right, back back to Colorado. Back to Colorado. It's what my ex-brother-in-law always called it. He called it Colorado. And it has really, really stuck with me. All right, so this one's off to Colorado, and I will be back. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to try to fit this one into this cube, but I am not positive we're going to make it. We may not make it by about once, but let's see how it goes. So, two, oh, three tropical breezes. I told you this one was a popular one with this release. So, three of those. And we have two peaches. That is correct. Let's see, we have, oh, hello, hello, we have five of the Sunny Beaches soap. 
I just saw a pile. I didn't realize that's what we were doing. That's fun. Okay, I'm going to put these all down here. I don't know why it has to be that way, but that's the way I like it. Let's do that. Okay. I just love how those turned out. I really need to buy that fragrance again and make a new a new batch because that was just super super duper fun okay let's do something else let's do the peaches down here you okay and we have a graceful so that's oh we have plenty of room plenty of room okie dokie then let's see so we have the candied citrus so let's see let's put one there paper can get a little bit weird come on now and another one. Oh yes oh yes plenty of room in fact we're we're switching up looks fantastic let's just put these by themselves because they're on a different level I have one order after this and then I am completely caught up whoop, whoop. these are very exciting dudes very very exciting. All right, so now I have to decide what sample is going to go in with this one today. Okay, so I have these samples of the sea salt soaps, and this one is huge, like in the bar. So we're going to just tuck that down there. Now we don't need quite as much, but maybe a little bit of blue, right? All right, that's good. So now, let's just put that sweet pea there. We need just, just a little bit there is all. Okay. Now we got another one ready to go. Now my next one is huge among us. And it's going to take a while to pack it. So, be prepared for that scenario. Get that sticker on there. Well, these guys all slid down in. Hey, now. Okay, so look at this. This is all going to one place. I think because our current scenario, I'm not going to worry about getting any UPS pickups or anything. Plus, this is going uh, to Hawaii, so I'm just going to stick with the post office. But I think we need to do a little organization, see what all we've got going on. I know these are all triple milk, and then we've got... So we have calendula carrot. Okay, these are all calendula carrots. So we have six of those. And let's see, pink grapefruit. What are you down in here? Oh, so we have a couple of smitten. These are probably all separated out by order. I just want to make sure that I know what is all going on here. I like to put scents together a lot of times. All right, so those are candied citrus. We have a two raspberry oat, two figgy cream, and a beesiest of knees. We got a whole bunch of triple milk bath bombs here. Let's see what we got going on here. We have sunny beaches. 
another sunny beaches we have looks like three of the peaches and three strawberry champagne they're not gonna be a dirty spot in that house I do not think on those people anyway <laughs> oh we have another figgy cream so we we'll wrap back around to the figgy cream from an earlier way to go this is like like one of those uh, memory games right you have to remember where everything is okay so we're gonna put the figgy cream with the other figgy creams I'm going to try, I know I'm going to be going in two boxes here, so we have green clover and aloe. Ooh, two sweet peas. Yay. And two citrus buttermilk. Okay, so I know we're going to be going in multiple boxes, at least two, but I'm going to get this large, and it's, it's a holiday, but I <laughs> didn't find any others. Okay, so let's see. We're going to see how this is going to play out. Let's do the Calendula Carrot. Okay. Okay, it's time to call in my clip. It's still a little bit poopy there. All right, so we have the Calendula Carrot. Let's do three more of the calendula carrots. And then we had two citrus buttermilk, which those actually can go there because they have similar, similar scents. So we've got a lot of other citrus ones here, but let's try putting in just regular, regular stuff for now. This is going to be a puzzle. All right, what do we got going on here? Sunny. All right, let's do peaches. I'm going to do peaches right here. And we're going to do strawberry champagne. Let's go with a little gap here, but not really enough to do much with. Let's go ahead and put in the sea salt soaps. Let's see how that goes. One, two, three, four. Four. Yeah, that'll work. Let's go in with the candied citrus here. All right, so we're just gonna do do that like so. And we'll have to make sure we don't get over the weight limit here, also. I don't think we will. It's it's hard to get over the weight limit on these things. So let's do sunny beaches. And let's see, we had two smitten. So let's put those there. Let's see. We got the uh, oat-ish ones here. Okay, let's go in with figgy cream. that and we'll put busiest right there I guess that'll work let's do okay so we have two sweet pea and then two green clover and aloe that's perfect 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 let's do raspberry oat here on the edge Whoops, push you down a little bit. Okay, we'll get there. Okay, we're looking good. Looking super duper. So let's go in. Hmm. Those soaps were just messing with my OCD where they were. So we're going to put these here. Probably like so. So we have some room, but not really enough for everything. So I'm just kind of debating whether I want to um, 
put the unscented stuff in there. I kind of feel like maybe that would be, since I'm going in two boxes anyway, it's not going to make any difference. I'm just thinking maybe it would be best in the long run if I just close this up. Okay, well, it's been about 30 minutes because, you know, you go to print something, and it should be a simple thing, but then the printer's like, hey, I don't have any paper, and I'm like, dude, you are loaded down with paper. And it just argued with me for the longest time, so finally shut down the printer. Nope, still wouldn't work. Okay, shut down the printer and the laptop. Okay, we finally got that to work. <laughs> So that was a process. So, I decided to go ahead and add these bath bombs in as many as I could. But I think I'll be able to go with a cube box for my second one. But we'll just see how it goes. And let's see what else. Oh, I looked up the weight. This is up to 70 pounds. I must have been thinking of international or something on these. I think that might be the 15 pounds. I don't remember. Either way, we're good. We're right at 15 pounds already. Let's see how this is going to... Yeah, that's going to be fine. Though, these have flat bottoms, so there's no sense in having quite as much shred here as I have, because they can sit flat, and that's not going to be any problem. And that way they don't get too close to the... Oh, that's better. That is better. So I think these are sold out now. These were the triple milk heart bath bombs, so that's fun. Happy that those ended up selling out gonna have to see what I can do about the whole bath bomb thing. I know not many of you are super particular about them having, you know, I mean if they if they sink that's fine. They don't have to float for you. They just like the bath aspect. So I guess you'll have to tell me, do you take summer baths or is that kind of about ready to go by the wayside? Alright, so I got in five of them. I think that's, that is super. So, I was really wanting to put in one of these. I'm going to have to see if maybe I can get it in on the next package. Because it's not going to work here. I probably won't close this one up until I get the other one packed. Just so that I can see how it's all going to go. And make sure that I'm happy with that. Oh, it's such an amazing... <laughs> kind of wish I was on the receiving end of this one. <laughs> I'd love to use all these products sometimes. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm in buying from my fellow makers supporting the small businesses as I am able so I've gotten in an order from Southern Sky Beauty um, I've gotten in an order from Bubble Babes and Euphoria Soapworks and so yeah I'm pretty excited about that so one of this one for samples I'm going to put in a little Brambleberry now this customer did use the free soap deal I have a Buy nine, get one free. So his customer utilized that. All right, so I'm going to leave this as is. Go prepare my other box and wrap it up. All right, let's get this finished up. So I'm going to put in all the triple milk together. I love my triple milk. Oh, so good. Unscented soap is just really good for, well, if you can't handle scents or color, um, unscented soap is good for people that have more sensitive skin and um, maybe they can use scented soap, but 
they just do better with unscented it's just super duper creamy and delightful I like it as a reset I love to use um, scented soaps but it makes such a great reset just to have an unscented soap around especially when you're washing your hands your body a lot it's really nice to to have you know just something more natural and basic and this has uh, coconut milk and goat milk and buttermilk and so it's just super delightful so let's see how I want to do this I still need to put in that final bath bomb Again, it's flat, so it doesn't really need any extra padding so much there. But I do want to put in, let's see. Oh, right there. <laughs> I was looking for it. So I'm going to put in a calendula and coconut cream unscented soap. That's my last sample of that and then I'm going to put in this egg and these are raspberry lemonade scented they were just for the samples okay yeah that'll be fine all right had to step away there for a minute back but no time at all for you, of course. I know sometimes it seems like I'm using a lot of it, but I don't always grab very much shred. I always get like, sometimes I'll just get like a little bit. So I'm going to make the notations that this is box two and we will get these sealed up and done. Alright, let's start closing these up. This customer left me the most amazing messages. Thank you to you. And this customer was getting some Mother's Day gifts and getting gifts for some special women in her life and she just likes the strawberry soap and just... It was just such a great, happy time reading those notes. I just love and appreciate you guys so much. So, so much. I just can't even really tell you without acting too goofy. So we have this one done. I'm not going to worry about insurance on this one, but let's go ahead and get this one. Let me mark this actually. I don't want to forget to, this is box two. And this one, we'll, we'll see if this ends up being in the right spot. Box one. So I'm going to get this label printed. Okay, so this is sheet is not going to go all the way across. So I just folded up one. Hey, that's pretty good. I just eyeballed that one. That kind of turned out. This one I will for sure be uh, doing insurance. I'm not doing signature confirmation because this customer did waive that. I don't think they're really requiring much right now, but since a customer, okay, we're a little, we got to tuck this in just a wee bit. Anyway, since this customer, oh my, where'd it go? Huh. Come back. 
another piece here that I'm just going to put on the top and tuck around. Looky there. So I think after this, I'm going to go... Oh my, ran out of tape. So this is my last order. And that means I am 100% caught up from this release. So I think what I'll do next, it's almost 5.30. But I think what I'll do, I've been fixing myself a hot green tea. And then starting up that self-made, the story about CJ, Ma Madam CJ Walker. And so that's kind of been an enjoyable show and her journey into kind of creating her little empire of hair products back in the uh, early 1900s. So that's what I think I'm going to do for a while. And then I think I'm going to fix. Oh, this is heavy. Oh my. And then I think I'll fix stroganoff for dinner. So here's your question for you. When you fix stroganoff, do you like rice or do you like the uh, white egg noodles? This is 263 ounces, 16 pounds, 7 ounces on the dot. I like rice, but the rest of my family likes the egg noodles. So I've been getting into cooking extra and having leftovers. So I think that's what I'm going to do tonight. I think so. So this one is a large flat rate box and it weighed what was it 16 pounds I'll add I'll add a little bit a few ounces there insurance I'm gonna have to figure that out so I'm just gonna call it all right guys thanks for watching talk to you later bye